Well, hello there. It's that time again. Yes, it is. It is time for our weekly tarot and astrology reading. Here on this Sunday evening of June the 14th of 2020. And as I always do, I'm going to go over some of the energies of the Tarot de Barce Trumps uh, to explain what's coming up for this week. And also, we'll look at some astrology. And as always, it's going to be an interesting ride, so do stay tuned. Okay. In a moment, three Tarot de Marse Trumps are going to come onto the screen and cover my face. The cards that I drew at random for this week are the Hermit, Death, and the Empress. An interesting spread. I had to consider this one carefully. The Hermit is facing the left, which we can presume to be the direction of the past. He's holding up his lantern as if trying to illumine something, and he has his walking stick directly in front of him. Now, many times we can see the Hermit as keeping distance. He is removed from a situation. He's just sort of looking at it carefully. Perhaps these are things from the past that we have dealt with. Uh, COVID-19 being one of them, and now some of the restrictions are lifting. So this could be something we're putting some distance from. Uh, this could be projects that we have been working on, other things that may have been pleasant or unpleasant, but now we have to carefully consider them. Now the death figure, he's not looking at the past. He's saying, okay, I'm going to clean up the now and move towards the future. I'm clearing. I'm done with that. I'm clearing. I'm chopping up things that I'm clearing them. And then when I'm done clearing them, I can be like the Empress. I can sit and rule and be comfortable and have a shield of protection that I hold in one arm as I have my scepter of power in the other. So as we clean up the past, clean up the present, and look forward to the future, we're going to find that we're going to be in a better position. That's at least what we have going for this week. Okay, now looking at the astrology, uh, there's not a great deal. Uh, for one thing, we are in a waning aspect of the moon. We're in the third quarter. Uh, in a few days, we're going to be in what's called the dark of the moon, which is like three days before the new moon, which is going to be on the 21st. New moons I love. It's a chance to make a new beginning. Uh, the two or three days before it, I don't do anything magical because it's basically a dark time. There is no moonlight. The moon is a mediator of the planetary energies to the earth, so this is very, very important. Uh, the planets themselves, there's nothing significant, aspects, anything that came up, or if it did come up, it had nasty squares of Saturn, the moon squaring Saturn, or whatever, so it wasn't really viable. Just know this is a good time to get rid of things in your life. Just like the death card indicated, and the hermit, carefully consider those things that you don't need. Eliminate them. Could be conditions, people, could be things, whatever it is, attitudes. I don't know, just lose it. Get don't don't even look at it as losing things, getting rid of things, getting rid of situations, energies that aren't working for you. Then you'll be free. You can look forward to the future and start to manifest stuff with that beautiful new moon. Well, there you go. Thank you for tuning in to my weekly tarot and astrology reading. I appreciate your support. And until I see you next week, many, many blessings.